he might be like a top three quarterback. I in the think league. he's going to be really good. We just need to get him some help. We just get him some help. That is the worst possible feeling in the world. <laughs> That's a bad feeling. So we're back. Another episode of the Dan and Ninko Show, episode 142 after a disappointing game, disappointing overtime loss that you got everybody in the media. They should have went for two. They should have went for two. Yeah. If you go for two and you don't get it, you should have yeah, kicked the field goal. <laughs> you should have kicked the, what are they thinking? How did they, blah, 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 blah. They don't know. A hundred percent. They. It, it's okay. You go for two and you win the game. You're the smartest guy. Yeah. You go for two. You don't get it. You're the idiot. You tie the game up. You go <laughs> into overtime. You're an idiot. But if they won. But if they won. Then he, he would have been a hero. Good job. Yeah. The yeah. Things are starting to change in, well, in New England. Yeah. Well, but Drake May, I would say Drake May. Uh, really this is good. my one takeaway. What are you doing? You just came back from a concussion. Don't. What are you, you doing? I'm it. in a four kicks in Norfolk, Mass, screaming at the television. Slide. He, t- learn from Tua. Well, he, you don't want to get froze up. Well, the, the two thing, though, was he got the concussion so close together. Two bad ones. Yeah, he just got a concussion. But, he didn't get knocked out. But this this game, he's like running the ball. And I'm like, okay, he so he's going to slide. Better. He's going to slide. And he just comes in. He's a competitor. And, and there's something up with his helmet. Can we get the kid a better helmet to where it doesn't fall off every time he gets hit? <laughs> every time he gets hit, his Brady chin strap to, is Brady on his. To come back, don't become the Aaron Rodgers. Remember the one where he's on his side and the chin strap's <laughs> on his please. nose? And he's like. Or the Joe Cross Flacco. Guys, or the, yeah, Joe Flacco was <laughs> completely. Brady had the same. Brady's helmet would always come off, too. Yeah, because, like, no, but he wears that. I don't know what brand it is. It's got that stupid thing in the top, but it seems really top yeah. heavy. Yeah. So when you do this, it almost like flops off. He needs the newest, best. I think that is the newest one. No, is. I don't think it is. I don't think it's the he Vice. Have, like, he doesn't have like the, the Brady, the Riddle, or whatever. Why am I getting text messages right now? Um, he needs to get the newest, best helmet. Yeah, we'll I need get- I need Drake May protected. I need a tackle. I need an extra receiver. I need some help. I, they, need, they need a tackle. I mean, he's he's the most pressured quarterback in the NFL, and he's as a rookie, and he's still performing. I mean, what does that tell you about the kid? He's good. I mean, he he might be like a top three quarterback. In I the think league. he's going to be really good. We just need to get him some help. We just get him some help. Yeah, it's I, easier said than done. You got to spend it, the money. To get looking help. around the league right now, man. Football sucks sometimes when you watch it. Like Thursday night football yeah. was one of the worst games I've ever seen. <laughs> it's 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 like what are we can't line up. We're you flag on every other play. We've talked about this at nauseum. It's just because so they, they, annoying. they've over like there's too many rules in the sense, right? Like it's I know, and they want to add more there's rules something to that it. happens, they they create another rule to change the thing that happens, but there's just too many rules at this point. It's just nonstop. How do you like my shirt? Oh, boy, with the planes on it and everything. Props. America. America. (laughs) (laughs) We're taping this on Thursday. What's the date today? November 7th. It's the 7th. Yeah. The 7th. Crazy times, man. (laughs) Throwing us in. So what do you think about... So you think that Drake may, though... I mean, the Patriots have now the most important position. They have their guy, right? They got their guy. I mean... They got their guy. So as a Patriots fan, you should be happy that they do have their guy. Yeah. I'm just tired of hearing the thing about Elliot Wolf. People are like, the only thing Elliot Wolf did was draft Drake May. It's like, well, you didn't really draft Drake May. It was given to you, basically. You were taking a quarterback. There well, they play the them. Bears. They play the Bears this week. Yeah. So you got Drake the- May looks a lot better than Caleb yes, Williams. Yes, of course. Now, Caleb Williams, you guys enjoying the show? There's a few ways that you can support the Dan and Ninko show. First being, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Or you can become a super fan. Go to dananinko.com. First month is 50% off, so it's only 5 bucks to subscribe. That gives you an exclusive chat with Ninko and I on Discord. Access to exclusive content. 15% off our brand new merch store, which has some really cool stuff in it. Uh, our members-only merch. And you get notified when we have special guests on the show. These are my takeaways with Caleb Williams. He can make all the throws. I kind of don't like his, like the post game, like when they lost and he's walking off the field like a big pouty baby. I, you know, like I don't know the way he, pre- he presents himself to me. Maybe he's got to grow up a little bit. I think you look at Drake 
and his ability to kind of deal with this sh- the shit that he's dealing with right now, I think he does a damn good job. Like after this game, he said, "I got to be better." Yeah, he threw an interception at the end of the game, but that last play of the game wasn't that insane. I thought oh, it was. Re- I, I, I didn't even think it was going to be a anything close to a completion. I thought it was going to get picked. I'm like, oh no, that's thrown across the field interception. Yeah, and it's a touchdown. Well, he. Uh, I like how though he took credit. He. You know, he didn't take any credit for it because the first thing he said when they asked him about it in the press conference was, he, well, after he looked at the film on Monday or whatever, he said, well, I missed Hunter Henry with that first read. Like he admitted, like he was like, you know, it didn't have to be that. Like I could have just made the read and threw the ball. So I like that about him that he's going to yeah. take the responsibility. But the thing is, his athleticism just comes out. I mean, yeah. that's just something special that quarterbacks either have or don't have, right? 100%. I mean, he and, broke and how many tackles in that? He just made... Two guys, the guy, this is the worst feeling in the world. The guy that's right there yeah. and you miss him uh. and then you fall on the ground and then you try to get up and you're right close to hitting him again. And then you see the ball and then it's a touchdown. And you're just like, <laughs> that's, you go like this. Blame yeah. me. That's like Cam Newton when he juked me. Yeah. And I remember I had a great rush, got in there, was held, missed him, missed him twice. He scrambled for a people first down. That one, though. And I was like, damn Hightower, it. Hightower got completely broken on that one, right? Yeah, I know. So did Chan Jones. Yeah. All right, let's but, see. Let's see this play real quick. Take me through it, Nico. Shotgun snap. I thought they were going to do some type of... Now, this was my thought. If they would have went for two and you're in the same shotgun formation, what about the catch the ball, fake throw, and run straight up the yeah. field for it's, a touchdown? It was there all day, I think. Like the, the draw play. But you got to get the backers out. Backers got to get out. Oh, no. See, they got a spy on him. See the guy right there? Yeah. See right in the middle? He's spying on him? Yeah. That's I for guess, the scramble. I think right here, though, is where they have Henry. He has Henry on the on there. Not right now. It's coming right here through the screen, I think. Right there. No? Yeah. He's, you oh, can't he's on see the back. He's, he's on the, the back. back hatch. Okay. He yeah. was looking on the flat right there. Yeah. Misses him. They push him out of bounds. So then Hunter Henry's out. Like, he's done. Yeah. He, he just stood, he stood out. And now this is, this, like... Oh, is that bad? This is it. right there. You're that guy. <laughs> you're that guy right there. And you're on the ground and the With play's still going. The you know, that is the worst possible feeling in the world. That's a bad feeling. But then hit play. Let me show you the worst feeling. Now get up. The ground's hot. Get up, 49. Let's go. Now this is the worst part. Oh, that's a bad feeling. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. And all you can do is say, the damn t- it. The Titans couldn't have played any better defense on that, right? I well, mean, they won. The, they Okay, so the Titans won this game. If they would have lost, you watch that play over and over again, and you lose your mind. You're just like, <laughs> yeah, I had, the, I had right? the chance to win this game. I had the chance. This is my shot. What would I Bill have won. said to the Titans defense in the film room This on one Monday. is more D-line because you can't hold the ball that long yeah. and expect your secondary to hold up so, like 1-1,000, 2-1,000, 3-1,000. Now that got to make the play, you got to hit the quarterback. Now that the you inter- slow down when you get to him. Yeah, the interception in overtime though, I really obviously Drake May threw it. I don't think it was really on him. I don't know if you saw the play at all of what I happened. I saw the it. I saw the uh, interception. It was kind of like double coverage. But no, it's because Bourne fell down. Oh, I, I heard that. So he if thought, he so doesn't right here, fall, watch. the safety look, isn't free. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So look what happens, right? The safety is on Bourne. Yeah. He sees him and then fall. He, and then he stops and he just comes off. Why did he fall? Did he get touched? <laughs> I don't think Go so. Go back. Go back. Let me see. Just a little right there. He just Hit play. missteps. How does he fall? <laughs> it's turf. It's not a slow. Oh, my god. Because, look, if that safety stays down on Bourne, it's, it's, it's a touchdown. All right. Hit play. Look, it's a touchdown if that safety, fall, if oh. that safety goes to Bourne. It's a touchdown. It le- or either touchdown or the ball's on the f- like the eight, seven. Oh boy, yeah, that's bad. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that, isn't that a uh, a thing on the Patriots receiver room right now? Like that's how this. That's I thought how they were going to trade gone. somebody, but they didn't do anything. But it is what it is. What about the the Chiefs? What do you when you they're undefeated? Are they going to go they don't undefeated? Look that good. Though. Did you see win. how many sacks have been let up this year? Across the board. Yeah. So my question is, if the game and the product is slowly deteriorating 
and these records and you know sack records and guys having double digit sacks like it's devaluing some of these key statistics that used to be like a big marker in like your career yeah. and how you no, perform because right. 10 sa- if you get 10 sacks 10 sacks now, used to be like really mean anything right yeah now it's like if you don't get 10 sacks you suck 10 sacks used to be like wow if you can get to 10 yeah, that's you were a, like a top. That's a good pass rusher. Yeah, you're like you're a top of the market. You got guys getting three to four sacks a game. I know, it's crazy. Is that because the volume of throws has gone up so much? I think it's the way so they there's call no the more, offensive line. Now, there's no though. more running the ball like there used to be. There's no balance, so you're just pass rushing every play. Or the offensive line, they don't develop that well. So now you have guys that because look at the NFL as far as the best tackles in the league. They're all 36 years old. Yeah, I know. There's nobody that's like young. I mean, there I mean, is, some there good is young but ones. I'm saying like but the like, best. Yeah. If you look at the best tackles in the NFL right now, yeah, it's like Trent Williams. It's Trent Williams, Lane Johnson. Yeah. These worst guys that are worst. 35 years old, 34 years old, 36. Well, but the thing, though, is, is that I think part of the pass rushing thing is that how they're changing, like where you can line up on the offensive line, right? When you played, the tackles we're off the offensive line, right? Like they would take that, they would be that one step back. Oh, now no, they're, they're bringing everybody up. I mean, they always cheat at that, but they always have though, but they can't cheat it now. Yeah. I mean, that changes the pass rush, correct? Oh yeah. hundred percent. I mean, if it helps one, you, two steps, it, it helps, helps the pass you. Rusher. Yeah. You're all you're trying to do as a pass rusher is get one step on the tackle. If you can get one step on them, yeah. you got them. Yeah. But now if they're the two steps up on the line from where they, well, they have been, well, playing, they used to be like 10 feet off the ball. That's you're what like, I mean. What the hell? It's like, yeah, I can't get through this guy. But that's but, the thing. I don't know. It's just when you watch the game, it's just you got bad football, and then you have your teams that like Kansas City who they're doing what they have to do to win. Doesn't look great, but that's kind of what the Patriots did. I mean, honestly, there was games where we didn't look awesome, but we slowly but surely made sure we got the game. The game's to a wrapped degree. up. I, I don't think the Chiefs the Chiefs don't look as good as the Chiefs have looked. No, like in the last no. few years. Well, Mahomes, even his statistics aren't crazy. And I don't understand why defenses don't prepare or understand that you have a 35-year-old tight end in Travis Kelsey. Nobody touches him. Nobody covers him man-to-man tight. They're literally like 5 to 10 yards off the guy. It's a third and three, and he runs a little snag route for five yards for first down it's dude there's three (laughs) yards between you and the first down why are you at five yeah it's just so stupid you can hit him within the five or they or he runs a a little silly sit read where he runs up finds the hole and and patrick knows how to put it on him and he knows how to find it but the defense has no awareness to where he's at no awareness to 87 like that's a key guy so oh, it drives me nuts. Have some awareness. Nobody has awareness. We're like, oh, we'll just, you know, we're running cover three. It's fine. Yeah, we Mah- could do it. Mahomes has uh, 11 touchdowns, nine interceptions this year. 1,942 yards. Yeah. So, I mean, it, he, his numbers are not the greatest for what Patrick Mahomes is normally, right? I mean, he's averaging about 242 a game. So he's yeah. on pace for 4,000 yards on a 17-game season. I mean, it's good. It's good. But that's not Mahomes, though. It's not crazy. The yeah. touchdown statistics aren't crazy. Yeah. Um, I don't know. It's just it is what it is. You got to – you got to – you know, everyone, and especially the New England fans and Patriot fans, are like, well, they're the new dynasty. I feel like people don't want them to go three in a row because – yeah. It would put them above the Patriots dynasty. Put you above, though. They still have a bunch more Super Bowls to get. Oh, I know, but to do it, nobody's ever done that. I yeah. feel like this year is a perfect year for them to go. I don't think so. For three, three in a row. I don't think so, because they've just benefited from who they've played and stuff like that. I, I don't. They just because the Ravens look, look pretty look good. good. Yeah. The Ravens that that's their Achilles heel, though. Yeah, but the thing is, the, the Ravens, Ravens though, can't Derek, beat anybody but, in the playoffs. But what is what is the Ra- what are the Ravens going to be now when the winter really kicks in in the playoffs? Well, they and you got Derrick Henry, yeah, he's got and Lamar healthy, Jackson. Though. I know, but if he stays healthy, and then you have Lamar Jackson healthy, I'm not sure the Chiefs can stop them. Like if in, in a cold weather game, yeah, 
Imagine trying to tackle Derrick Henry in cold weather games the way he's running. Brandon Jacobs, yeah, two sixty. Yeah, but it's not fun, massive. Right? No, it sucks. <laughs> Terrible. Don't want to do it. So, what do you think about Drake May, where he had ninety four percent of the offensive yards in the last game? It means that they get him some help. <laughs> they can't run the ball. They have no running game. You can't win if you can't run the ball, and if you can't run the ball. Well, here's we, already the, know, we already know what that reflects. Here's the running back statistics. Uh, 12 carries for 15 yards. Yeah, that's really shitty. I think 12 <laughs> for 15? Yeah. I think if you give me the ball 12 times, I fall think down I could get 15 yards. I really do. <laughs> I do. fall down, right? I think I could do it. I think <laughs> if you gave me 12 chances at 15 yards, I think with a line, you give me the ball, <laughs> the I'm Patriots running... Line? What's that? Even the Patriots offensive line? Just give me the I think you give me the ball. I'm running straight in. Oof. And I think I can get I think they need to get you in practice and see if you can do it. I don't know. I think I have a hernia right now. I got this pain <laughs> right here. I need to go see somebody. It's uh, it's real annoying too. It hurts. But the, but yeah, you can't you can't win a football game that way though, right? I mean, you can't win. No. You Unless can't. your quarterbacks are over 400 yards, which Drake may I think he maybe could What eventually. did he have um what did he have for yardage in that game? For passing? Yeah. 206. 206. We got we to gotta have some more production. And 95 rushing. He had 95 yards on the ground? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah. It, it's a good day. It, the running backs had 12 carries for 15 yards, and he had eight carries for 95 yards. How do you think Tennessee feels about firing uh, Vrabel? Oh, yeah, I know. Jeez. That, that coach is an idiot that they so have there bad. now. So bad. So do you think so the the there's still a lot of talks about firing Mayo after this? They're season. not fi- I know they're not firing. They can't. Yeah. Oh, That'd be can. really stupid for them to fire Mayo. Listen, if if you want to build something, it's not is it truly Mayo's fault that the roster is what it is? No. Like you no. have to deal with I don't what think he you, has any say in the roster. But you have to deal with what you have on your roster because you come in as a first year head coach. The roster is what it is. The talent is what it is. You go through your first draft. You get a quarterback. He looks like he could be the future. You need this next offseason yeah. to gain you know, a little momentum, add a few pieces in the draft, spend some money in the offseason, bring a couple guys in. There, who knows who, what receiver would want to come play here now that you have Drake, you have Drake May. May. I mean, you need to get an O.C., they need to take all of that off of Mayo. Who's the he, best college offensive coordinator right now? I don't know. Like, I need to know who, like, the newest, youngest, brightest star is offensively. Why wouldn't you just get Brian Dable? If he's available. He's going to get fired from the Giants. Well, he also has to accept wanting to come back. I Why know he's from he, Buffalo. I know but the thing his is, in Buffalo. say, forget a college, right? Say, you know, there's a like one of the best offensive minds is in the NFL right now, regardless if they're a coordinator or maybe a QB coach or whatever it is. Mm. If you're if you want to get to the position of being an NFL coach, right, you have to go put yourself in a position to succeed. So, yeah, right? you have to so, be um, Shanahan. In Atlanta, yeah, with Matt Ryan. Well, it's like you know, it's like it's also like Ben Johnson in Detroit. Everybody says he's so great and everything, which he's doing a really good job. Yeah. But they have so much talent on that offense, right? Yeah, but it's true. If you're if you're trying to make a name for yourself, isn't the Patriots' job the perfect job right now? Right. Well, if they get a offensive line a little well, bit. Well, no, better. no, no. I know, but like if with, if you go to interview right now, right? Because you have you have a quarterback that could arguably be one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL. Yeah. You have good running backs, right? If yeah. you spend the money and get a get some offensive line help, draft all that, get receiver help and all that, and then what's the pressure you have on you? The offense is so bad right now. You've been the worst ranked offense like almost every single year for three years now, right? Yeah. The pressure. If you get it to fifteenth, you're a hero. That's true. Now you get in top ten, like you're a god almost, yeah. right? You're, you're on a. If you have a quarterback that you feel you can win with, you're on the fast track to getting a head coaching job. Yeah. Which is what everybody wants. They want the head coaching job. That's where all the money's so free at. Three forty million, fifty million bucks. Yeah, you Hit suck. The lottery. Look at look at Miami. Yeah. So you, you can suck, but you're gonna be the head coach for the next the whole presidential term. Would you take Mike term. McDaniel's if he got fired? No, I actually offensive coordinator. Yeah, yeah, I would, but he ain't getting fired. He's got four or five more years. <laughs> they fire coaches now with four or five years left of their deal all the time. 
But I was saying though, like you, it has to be, it has to be the most desirable offensive job in the NFL right now. It has to be. I, outside of teams already yeah, built, yeah, you gotta take that's the teams what I'm saying. Out that, like I'm, that are the not teams that are, have, teams are gonna be looking for an OC. Yeah, I agree. I agree. If it not like if you had a stacked team, a stacked yeah, roster, like Detroit would be one of the best yeah, ones to go to. Detroit, like that. the but, Ravens, or but somebody one that's going to be looking for an offensive yeah, coordinator. I agree. Maybe Kaylee, maybe Nick Kaylee after this year would say, "Hey, now I see a little bit more yeah. pr- more progress with what you have. I can work with that." I look at it too, like his Travis Hunter, right? Is he's rated probably one of the best receivers, one of the best prospects in the draft because he plays corner and receiver from Colorado. Um, he was asked, or he talked about on his podcast. They were talking about like destinations he'd go to, and they brought up New England. And what did he say? I figured he'd say something like, "I don't want to go there, right?" Because nobody wants to go here. He just said he didn't say he didn't want to come here. He just said he wouldn't because he's number twelve. He wouldn't wear number twelve because he has that much respect for Tom Brady. But he's talking about wanting to come here, which I don't think. How about you he would wouldn't have, wear right? number twelve because it's retired and nobody can ever wear it again? I don't think it is retired. I, well, they're never going to give twelve to anybody else. <laughs> I, they should come. They won't. It should be up. It's go. It's it going to go. It's going there. It should already be there. <laughs> Trust it be? me. There. That's just another ceremony where they can fill the stadium. <laughs> Hundred bucks a ticket. Yeah. The Tom <laughs> Brady the retirement ceremony. <laughs> but, Profit sharing. But I, I think that now with Drake May being out there, great. You have other players on other teams talking about like Je- uh, Jeffrey Simmons of the of the Titans said that basically said Drake May is like the real deal. He looks really good. He's really hard to defend against. So you're going to get players now, I think, that want to come here. It's almost like what the Brady effect was, right? You, Everybody wanted to come here yeah. to play with Tom, especially on the offensive side of the ball. It's true. You know, I think you're going to get that with a lot of younger players now. Because here, the that play at the end of regulation, um, I think uh, Tommy said it, it's going to make kids around here want a Drake May jersey. Everett's got it right now. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah last game. Everett was like, I want a Drake May. So yeah. we got a Drake May. But you make plays like that. Like, that's what you become. And then, you know, all these people that are like, I think you can get the name plate. In- <laughs> yeah, you can. <laughs> I'm switching gears to baseball right now. Have you seen the uh, the comeback? Baseball. The comeback on Netflix? Yeah. It's actually an awesome documentary. Yeah. I didn't. I wasn't here, obviously. I that's right. I forgot you weren't here. I wasn't here for that. But pretty crazy. Yeah, that that was awesome. Whole environment. Now that's take me back to that era of time. I know you got a clubhouse where guys have chicken and beer, be, beers. Like they got a neon sign, a beer, whatever it was, playing cards, drinking beer, taking shots before the game, yeah. going out there, having a good time. Nowadays. If you had a shot, everyone would be like, oh, my goodness, they're alcoholics. <laughs> give, them, your, give them some therapy. you got to make your TikTok dance like, before you come go Come on. <laughs> like, that is the time that I miss. Uh, give me 04. Give me 04. I can watch 04, any. 0405, none of this shit. Everyone's like, yeah, I hate my phone, too. I can watch any documentary about the 03, 04 Red Sox. Like that, it's that it's time. unbelievable. It just... That whole the series and then how they acquired everybody and they had the young gm that everyone thought was too theo. young theo yeah and but the cool thing with theo like though poppy is- so when i was you know like tito ortiz big poppy david ortiz david ortiz said tito ortiz yeah. <laughs> tito ortiz i'm thinking of the ufc, UFC. fighter <laughs> um david ortiz sorry david ortiz he basically was out of baseball or he was close to being out of baseball yeah twins basically does name for assignment and they paid him one of like a minimum contract to come here. Yeah. And he just balled out. He almost quit too because yeah, they, he brought was close. In, they brought in they brought in um uh Mankiewicz and stuff like that or not Mankiewicz. Um, and then I didn't even know Lamar. about the the whole the shortstop stuff for the Garcia Parra? Garcia Parra and they were going to trade him for Alex Rodriguez, and, you oh, you, and A Rod, yeah, A Rod was going to come here and so then did he you went ever, to the Do you know why Yankees? though they turned that down? This is the craziest thing. I, but didn't um and they didn't they cover that in the documentary? Wasn't they it? Didn't go it over came it out, fully. It came out too soon and they declined the trade or something. No. They the the trade was done. It was signed off on by the Rangers, the Red Sox, the agents, everything. 
But the way the trade had to go was Alex Rodriguez had to reduce his salary down or reduce his contract down Mm -hmm. a certain amount of money. I don't know how much it was, but they had to reduce it down. The players union in Major League Baseball turned it down and said he cannot take less money than his contract says. And that's how the trade got turned down. That's the trade was done. It was done, done. He was he was going to be a Red Sox. Yeah. Yeah. Which, I mean, who knows what would have happened with that. But then later on in the season, they they traded Nomar because he was disgruntled and all that stuff. And, you know, the rest was And history. then that fight, you know, they were showing um, the Veritech. Uh, Veritech. A Rod. A Rod fight. Dude, that's that's so cool. I think every bar that's in like New a real That's like a the real rivalry. Like then they actually hated each other. Now that everyone's going to dinner and exchanging jerseys, yeah, taking pictures together, doing, laughing. Yeah, that's what it is. The cool thing, though, with that whole thing, which you talked about, the young GM, Theo Epstein, you know, he was from, like, Brookline. Yeah, he's local. Yeah, but isn't that such a cool thing, though, is, like, you grow up, like, you know, idolizing that team and all that, and then you Where become the now? general manager. Um, he, I think, works for Major League Baseball now. Oh, okay. He he went. He ended up going to the Cubs. He, he broke the curse. He was the GM that broke the curse to the Cubs, too. That's right. Yeah. He was with the Cubs. Yeah. I mean, he's, he's got an f- insane baseball mind. Actually, no, I think he's back with the TJ, Red Sox. Cut Hold the, on. T- he's cut back the with the Tito Red Sox. Ortiz thing, by the way. Cut this one, too. No, you got to keep that in there. <laughs> oh, my God. I actually think he's back with the Red Sox now. Now I think about it. Yeah. He's a senior advisor and part owner now of Fenway Sports Group. Really? Yeah. Wow. That's that's good for him. He's still young. He still looks young. In that documentary, he's 50 he, looks, now. he looks pretty young. Yeah, he's 50 now. But, I mean,. The, what he did to put together that team was unbelievable. Like the run was unbelievable. I mean, they were down to the final out, you know, the final couple outs. Mariano Rivera in, Dave Roberts steals second, Billy Miller hits the single. Well, I, the, I just the remember guy those stole, games. Well, he just won with the Dodgers, right? Yeah, he's been he with the Dodgers the, for a while. Yeah, Dave Roberts. That's where he came from. Um, I just remember those nights though. Like those games didn't get over until like one a.m. I, like, I, I remember being a kid going to school. Exhausted. Yeah, they tired of shit because I mean that game, those games, every one of those games. But like, I, I know you don't really like watching baseball, but like playoff baseball is unbelievable. I enjoyed. I watched some of the Yankees. I watched some of the series. Yeah, when Just, they when they hit back to back home runs, when the, um the big guy, what the hell is his name, Judge. Yeah, Aaron it was Judge. like his first hit, and however many at bats, people yeah. were all over him. He. He's a big. I didn't know he was six seven. Yeah, he's enormous. Two seventy something. Yeah. That guy's massive. That's what, that's what players are now. It's, it's crazy. most crazy. They're absolutely enormous. But Tito or <laughs> <laughs> David is that's insulting. David Ortiz. I keep thinking freaking the idiot from USC. Damn Ortiz. Big Poppy. I'm going to say Poppy. Well, I think you're also doing it because Terry Francona's nickname was Tito. No, I just. That's, you're watching the documentary. I was. They, doc- talk, yes. they talk about Tito. I, I kept. It's popping in my brain. But anyway, those home <laughs> runs. Popping in your brain. The, the home, home runs that. Yeah. <laughs> Freaking. <laughs> <laughs> Looks close. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> David Ortiz. David Tito Ortiz. David. Same guy. The Ortiz Both is, David Ortiz now. <laughs> David Ortiz. Um, I, that dude just seems like such a fun guy. Yeah, he looks like it. They look close. Yeah, they're similar. You also forget David Ortiz almost died a couple years ago. He did. Somebody shot him. That's so yeah. terrible. Yeah. I don't I don't, I, I don't get that. Somebody mistaken him for somebody else. They have right. I just remember his last game. It was fucking it was sad. <laughs> well, I just remember going to a couple games and he would just he'd walk out to like a rap song he literally would just come out well you know take a couple of swings <laughs> he strike out he walk back go in the dugout no problem he's come one of the, back walk out hit a home run yeah he was one of the greatest go back clutch hitters. go in that clubhouse have some drinks he was one of the greatest clutch hitters in oh, baseball history he said and he's got such a something about a good left-handed swing that's yeah. just pretty yeah you know he, he has a nice pretty swing you think yeah. about like the griffey. classic iconic lefties yeah you know lefty ken, swing ken griffey it's just it just looks a certain way 
Well, you know? Gri- Griffey just looked effortless. He just he just got up there and it was just effortless. Just, baseball, I know, I know, you know, we're like watching baseball. Baseball is fun to watch, especially. I'm hoping, right? The Yankees are going to be good next year, and hopefully, the Red Sox spend the money that they should spend this year because they do have a good core team. They can get back out there and compete with the Yankees. We can get those ALCSs of Boston, New York. Like that's what Major League Baseball needs. You need, so you need that. Bad. You need that rivalry. You need it back. Like yeah. that. You need that 100. percent You need that. But like, it's never going to. That's like the only rivalry that matters almost in sports now. Left is Red Sox Yankees. Yeah. Everybody knows about Red Sox Yankees. You don't it's have to true. be from Boston or New York to re- to know that there is like bad blood, hatred, you know, like that everybody's going to bring out the best in each other. And that's what you need. You need them competing again for the number one, number two spot. You know, one of them going to the World Series and all that. That's what baseball needs. That's what's going to drive it, you know, over to the next level is getting that back. So whatever baseball's got to do and go talk to John Henry to go spend the money like the Yankees spend. Well, aren't they going to sell the team? No. Weren't they talking about selling the team? Wasn't well, people want them to sell the team? <laughs> wasn't uh, Bezos looking at buying the team? Celtics, Celtics. Yeah. So are the Celtics selling the team? Yeah. Is that a done deal? I don't. Know. I don't think they've got a deal yet, but they're selling the team. But I don't understand. I I, under, I I get it. I understand making and collecting the well, actual cash. It's but, the dad. Uh. So uh, why why is Grossbeck doesn't own the team? He owns a small percentage. His dad owns. The majority of it. If you owned a sports team in today's TV money, you would be. Yeah, I think you'd be the, silly unless they forced you to sell it to sell the, anything. The father doesn't supposedly. The father doesn't like how much money they spent on these players, and they have a lot of money. They going just want out. a championship. I, yeah, I know. <laughs> so I think doesn't that make you a shit ton of money? You'd assume so because I mean now think about merchandise. Think about but you, you get know, your share of the TV contracts because you're getting all those national games. Unless they don't care and they're like, listen, people love the Celtics. They're going to fill the stadium up no matter what. That they're going well to a degree. To a, but think about when they weren't that great. Look at the Patriots. They don't sell out games. But they, they have a waiting to. list for season tickets forever. They, no, you want season tickets? We can get you season tickets right now. I mean, I think I, I think Nikovich could get season tickets. We hey. get TJ season tickets. If um, to there's a right waiting now. list, Rob. <laughs> 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 um, there's not a waiting list for it. Get at the end of the line, Rob. There's not a waiting list. They, you can say it's a waiting list, but there is no waiting list. Same thing with the Red Sox. Like you know, they used to have a long waiting list for season tickets. It doesn't exist anymore. You well, can get I mean, season tickets uh, right now. I wonder how much season tickets are for the Red Sox. That's got to be a shit ton of money. If you got all the games, yeah, yeah. That's what but, I'm saying. it's got to be what thirty thousand, forty thousand. For decent seats? For what, two seats? Yeah. You're for, probably looking at, let's see. My guess is 30000 for two. Nah, probably twenty grand. Twenty grand. Twenty twenty five grand. That's would, 82 games, though, too. Like, it's, it's a lot. It is a lot. You know, and you, you could, well, you hope. you If they're not winning, you can't even give them away. People are like, well, I have things to do this summer. <laughs> Yeah, you know, it's it's uh, 82 games. So I get, my wife got me last year like a partial thing. So you got like 20 games, which was great because you can make the 20 games and all that stuff. And yeah, that part was good. It's tough. Do you have season tickets for the Red Sox? 20 you, games. 20 games. Yeah. And you can, do you make all 20 games or is that still hard? No, nah, that's still hard. Yeah. Especially in the summer with sports. Well, you always, yeah, I mean, you got the kids and the sports. It's, yeah. it's really tough. But it's, it's good enough that you can go to like a good percentage of them. And then you can sell some of them. I'd like that. to take the boys. I got to take the boys to a couple of baseball games this year. It's just. Have you ever stayed? Time. Have you ever went to a game before first pitch and stayed to the last pitch? Yeah. No, you haven't. Have I, you? Think I, have. <laughs> I think I have. I think I have. I mean, I have a lot of beverages on the monster. Make sure I have a few. Brewski, you line up I the have. cans, bang, 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 bang. I just want more action. I want to, I want to catch a ball with my hand, bare hand, grab that thing. I'm gonna look like the Yankees fan, just trying to. <laughs> Did you see? I saw it. Grunk, grunk, buddy. I meant to send it to you. It was like the Halloween costume. You know, it was like so it was funny. like a boyfriend girlfriend, and the girlfriend was Mookie Betts holding the glove up, and the guy was the guy ripped the glove out, and they put like three chins on. Oh, that's <laughs> it was that's mean. ripping the glove. Up, ripping we live in a mean up. world these days. Everyone's so mean. <laughs> it was a terrible look. It was a really terrible look. It was a bad look. That guy played hockey at some club team with Gronk, though. 
Oh, the guy that ripped it. There he no, no he. Yeah, there's his wrong, friend, yeah. his college friend. He's like, I know that guy. <laughs> like, what? Yeah, me and him used to party together. Oh, yeah, he's cool. Um, yeah. So I don't know. I I just think uh, sports. I. What were you? What was your thought when you saw the uh, Yankees L.A. series? It wasn't a great series. No, because you, can't, you just knew that L.A. was going to kill. Them. Like the only tough thing in baseball right now is like these contracts. Like they're deferring all this money, so they like the Dodgers are just look signing. At their like, pay. Look at their payroll. It's insane. But the Dodgers, though, like I don't know if you saw, like Otani's contract, like he doesn't get paid like any of that money for like. Yeah, Ten for years. a long yeah for a long time, but it's yeah. all guaranteed, so he's getting it no matter what. Which yeah. is kind of crazy to think. Okay, well, my first couple of years. Guaranteed. So if you don't get that money up front, you you're worth it, but you're not actually you don't have it in your hand. But it also works too. Like like the Red Sox deferred a ton of money from Manny Ramirez. They pay him like two million dollars every year. Yeah, you know, cause I think you get when you defer it like that. I think you get interest on it and all that stuff. So it's like an annuity. I have it's a just, feeling that. Otani's going to be making a lot of that money way more, way beyond the actual time that he's playing. But there. think about the contract. Like he doesn't need the money right now, right? Because like his endorsement deals are probably That's as true. much as the contract. And his, his uh, translator is making him money on the side. <laughs> Just making the good bets. Making the good bets. <laughs> oh, man. No, it's uh, baseball is a lot of money. Basketball is a lot of money, too. Like basketball contracts are weird because. You know, you have a max deal, right? That you can't get yeah. anything more than that. But then it creates where like these middle these middle level players get like crazy money. Yep. Like you could be a middle of the road NBA player and make twenty five million dollars a year. That's crazy. What does a middle of the road NFL player make? Middle of the three, road, three four million three, bucks a year. Four. Yeah, maybe less. <laughs> honestly, Probably. crazy, isn't it? Yeah, I'd say because you don't to calculate it. You have a bunch of guys on minimum. You have a bunch of guys in the 700,000 level, and then you have a bunch of high guys. So maybe like three, three yeah, million. Yeah, it's going to be, right? Yeah. It's a big disparity. Big. Alex Van Pelt just had his press conference. They've been they've been pre- moving uh, Big Mike to left guard. <laughs> oh, he's moving him around? Yeah, he's moving around in practice. They talked about that Drake May has got to do better – uh, with play action. Well, how do you run play action if you don't have a running game? <laughs> play action is run play, making the defense respect the run so you don't just pin your ears back and get after the quarterback. Yeah. Alex Van Pelt says, Drake May's play action ball handling is an area we have targeted for improvement. You guys enjoying the show? There's a few ways that you can support the Dan and Inko show. First being, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Or you can become a super fan. Go to daninko.com. First month is 50% off, so it's only 5 bucks to subscribe. That gives you an exclusive chat with Ninko and I on Discord. Access to exclusive content. 15% off our brand new merch store, which has some really cool stuff in it. Uh, our members only merch. And you get notified when we have special guests on the show. I could, right. use, a, I could use a beer. It's a Thursday. Why not? Pretty good. Take mine. Take mine out. Um, there it is. So I think uh, I'm optimistic. And we've been optimistic, and I, we've had a positive outlook with the Patriots this season, even though they've they've won two games. Um, I think the Chicago Bears is uh, I think it's a fun matchup again. Tennessee was you thought it was going to be a I thought it was going to be a win. Should have been a win. Should have been a win. But the Bears should be a win. Bears are pretty decent this year, though. I know, but I think it's in Chicago. Great, great uh, place. Let's look at the. I can't remember what Chicago's record is. Did I make They're any ground up on you this past on the picks? They got like one, right? Am I up? One. I won one. Let's go, baby. Oh, Let's go. Uh, yeah, Bears are four and four, and the Bears are favored by six and a half. Six and a half. <laughs> That's a lot. I know. I kind of. 
I, for some reason, I have this feeling that uh, maybe I should take the Bears. Are you going to pick the Bears? Away? Maybe. I know wow. you're picking the pay. I'm, I, I got to get know. back. What is it? Nine, what is it? Am I four down? Four down. I'm four down. Got a long way to go still. Can flip like that. Could also flip the other way, too. I know. I got to pick wisely. <laughs> so, I don't know. I got to figure it out. Um. Yeah, it wasn't... Uh, Speaking of Dan, oh, there's going to be, I've got to tell you, there's going to be the return this week of Mac Jones, it looks like. He's playing? He's, yeah, it looks like he's going to be playing this week. What, Trevor, happened, what happened to Trevor Lawrence? Trevor Lawrence left shoulder continues to get treatment away options for the future. Sor- future. Sources say he's considering considered unlikely to play Sunday versus the Vikings. Hmm. There are options, and surgery is one of them. It could be a Mac Jones the rest of the season. He's hurt. Trevor Lawrence hurt, yeah. Why couldn't this happen before they played them? <laughs> I know it would have been, been yeah, but it would have been bad if freaking Mac Jones. Like, <laughs> oh my god, your buddy. <laughs> oh, that's this world we live in now—the <laughs> dancing and stuff. Like this. <laughs> what would you do if that was in your practice? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, hold on. Go back a little bit, though. Just replay. Hold it. on. No, no, no. Go back and just hit pause. Right. Look. No, not that. Not that. Not that. It looks like me doing the drill. <laughs> like right there. He's, that. I mean, they're not even looking. <laughs> they're not looking. But I don't understand throwing the 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 balls off of them. Is do? that their warm up? Yeah, but what does that do? It's nothing. Like, does absolutely nothing. It's an inflatable ball. As it, oh no, like, go back. Real quick. I, no, that's that's like a Bosu ball. That's, yeah, that's what I mean. It's, we used to have these balls that were heavy. like a medicine ball. Yeah. <laughs> we used to have a ball that if it hit you, it actually would do something. That's a ball that you do sit-ups on. Okay. Can you rate his uh, his technique here coming up from this, though? The dancing? The dancing, yeah. It, it would make you want to, <laughs> to not let up on any type of contact. <laughs> Go back up. The picture with the car. Is that, oh, that's a Porsche, at least. Yeah. That's cool. I like Porsches. Mm. Well, that happens, man. <laughs> we got our guy. <laughs> we got our guy. So you wouldn't want to go hang out with him? Practice with him? What? With Mac Jones. I, there's only one quarterback I want to hang out with. Tom Brady? Tom Brady. But I thought you guys were on the outs, though. No, we're... Close friends, close buddies. No, you're not. Yeah, we are. When was the last time you talked to him? I texted him the other day. Did he respond? Yeah. He said thank you with a heart. Did you text him like happy birthday or something? It's personal. <laughs> okay. And he was with Alex recently too. I, you know, he's 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 probably getting ready for a the fun off season. The become guy's quarterback loaded. of the Raiders. I don't know. He's working with Alex. Maybe he's gonna suit it up. He can't. He can't. Yeah, can't. he can't. It's over with. Unless he gives up the. Well, I guess he, he could give up the you, ownership, right? You can't give up. You're not going to sell up. it back. Why the hell would you sell? You got a piece. You got a piece given to you. you didn't get given to him. He paid for it. I know, but the valuation on it, I. Yeah, it was low. It's not. A top well, I think dollar. they. I think they raised it. I think the NFL raised it. They didn't allow him to buy it at whatever the initial one was. Because they don't want to, they don't want his, um, they don't want the valuation of the franchise to fall. So I think they made they made him pay more. The weird uh, thing he I paid three hundred million or something, right? He had to. Have. Yeah, so that's, a, like lot of, that's a lot of that's a lot of coin. That. Yeah, but he had investors though. It's not just oh, him. you have investors. It's not just him. Ah, uh, okay. So supposedly you, I think pooling. Richard Seymour was one of them pooling into it, but. Yeah, I don't understand how you can have investors and then you own a certain percentage. I don't, I don't know how that like works. How that works? But they talked about it that it was like investors or something like that. Because even if you like, you think about it, three hundred million is like six hundred million. Yeah, like if you made six hundred million, you'll have three hundred million cash. So, that's a lot of coin, man. I wonder if you get a loan for that. Brady and his co-investors, Knighthead Capital Management founder Tom Wagner, will pay $244 million. $244 million. Yeah. Knighthead Capital. So you could have an investment group own a stake in the NFL with him as the... Yeah. 
I think you can have private equity now that owns part of NFL teams. Well, that's I know Miami. You have like it's like J Lo and what? Uh, there's a, there's like a bunch of celebrities that own a piece of Miami. Yeah, it was based off of a three and a half billion dollar valuation. What? That was the valuation of the franchise. Three and a half billion. They're not. They're worth like seven billion. I know. Get the hell out of here. It's three and a half. <laughs> You texting them? You I'm, stole. No, I'm saying Raiders. Raiders value. Why can't I? Why can't my phone work in here? It says Brady and Wagner are buying into the Raiders at about a three and a half billion dollar valuation with an equity investment of approximately two hundred twenty million as part of the partnership. Raiders value. There's no way that the the valuation is worth. There, I, I mean, I thought the the cheapest team didn't the Commanders sell for like seven billion, mm-hmm. something crazy, dude. That's nuts. That's Six point oh five billion. So double, it's worth double, dude. That's a that's a gift. You don't um, Broncos sold for four point six five billion. How much? Four point six five. Oh, yeah, that was a long time Walmart. ago. No, it wasn't. Those are the Walmart. Yeah, that was way before these values have. Twenty twenty two. That's it. Mm-hmm. That's pretty. That's not. That's not a lot at all. Well, hey, the Panthers sold in two thousand eighteen for two point three billion. That's the Panthers that's though. Pa- well, I think they're one of the lower. Yeah, they got to be one of the lower. But the Raiders have to be on the higher end, right? Because they're one of the older teams. Too. Yeah, that's true. I mean, going to Vegas and all that. I just don't. I don't know how you come up with the valuation though. If it's just the valuation of the franchise, it must be just the franchise, right? And doesn't include like land or stadium because those are all separate deals. I think. I think it must just, be the valuation. It's got to be the valuation of, of the, the franchise. franchise. Yeah. yeah. He still got a good deal at three and a half billion though, because you couldn't you couldn't buy the, if they if they wanted to sell the Raiders today they would get. They'd get as much as the commanders. It's gonna double his. Like, he could double his money right now. No, yeah, just that'd be funny, right? You buy it and yeah. then you just go sell it. <laughs> double, double it. <laughs> hey, uh, I'll take five hundred million. <laughs> I'll make a hundred real quick. <laughs> yeah. that's not a bad thing. He should do that and then uh, buy part of the Patriots. Um. Yeah. Right. Because <laughs> that value is high, 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 high. And it's How fallen, high? fallen, fallen. No, it's not. Yes, it is. It is a hundred percent. The valuation has. is not falling, not at all. It hundred percent has. I don't know what this forward TJ TJ. What's your email? I got to try and get this. The Patriots are, are an estimated worth seven billion. Seven billion dollars. It's yeah. not going down. It ain't going down. You know what the Cowboys are valued at? Eleven what? billion. What? It says on this. That's what AI overview of Google says. Dude, that's nuts. The Rams are second at eight billion. The Rams. Yeah. What's the Chargers? It's the same stadium. Like I wonder. Probably a lot less. Interesting. Chargers. Um, or hold on. I don't have internet. I only have the top eight. Why do I not have internet right now? This this only has top eight. Cowboys eleven billion. Rams at eight. This one has New England at seven point nine billion. Giants at seven point eight five. Raiders at seven point eight billion. Yeah, I told you. It's not <laughs> three billion. <laughs> 49ers at 7.4. You buy in at 3 billion or 3 whatever. 3.5, yeah. Yeah, it's half. Jets at 7.35 and Dolphins at 7.1. Because it goes by revenue. So the revenue of the Cowboys is $1.2 billion. And they suck. Isn't that crazy? The Rams are $825 million. Patriots are 740. Can we get can we get in a time machine? Go back in time. You know what I'd do? I'd get a couple Tom Brady rookie cards. 
<laughs> put a couple get a of Tom Brady's, on it. get a signature, yeah, steal some like, underwear. Like, dude, I got this card when I was in high school. It worked out. Can I get a little signature on here? Bingo. <laughs> Tons of cash. Or you could have been like that reporter that stole his jersey in the Super Bowl. That's kind of wild. Team? Yeah, dude, that's wild. They took it. So I would steal my stuff from. <laughs> I would steal my stuff. I would. So what they would do, and honestly, what they do after a Super Bowl, they take your jersey, they take your pants, they take your gloves, they take your helmet, they take your cleats, they take everything. Yeah. And they either go somewhere or they own them and then they sell them. I didn't know that. I bought mine. You bought what? I got my jersey, my pants, you my gloves. You had to pay for it? No, oh, you stole it. No, I just saw it sitting there. I'm like, <laughs> I just saw it sitting there. I took it. Oh, it's like this is my jersey. This is yeah. my pants. So These are my it? cleats. I have them framed. No, but where? How did you get it out of the stadium? Though I put it in my bag, <laughs> and I took them. <laughs> like, I wore them. They have the grass stains all over them. They have my sweat so and all blood the on them. You played in. You have them all. Yeah, got them all. The cleats too, and everything. I have two pair of the cleats. What happened to the other one? The other ones. So I have my cleats from Seattle actually still have like mud stuck on the other side of them and like confetti and like all the turf. All right. And then my jersey, pants, gloves are in a like a shadow box case and they're still full of the paint that they covered the field on. And then I got my helmet that when people look at it, they go, this is your helmet? Like, yeah. Wow. It's a lot of... (laughs) marks on it (laughs) (laughs) things missing off of it uh why is there so many deep grooves in the front of this thing do you have any uh control issues can you make good decisions but how did like your helmet and all that stuff fit in your bag like what how big of a bag did you have well you have a a like a you have a bag that goes back to the stadium yeah like so you put it in that no i take my i took my jersey my pants and i throw them i even have my thigh boards and my knee like the actual pads that i wore i have everything but you weren't supposed to take them no i think you can but (laughs) i think if you don't take them they make sure that they have them oh okay you know like they have them somewhere you ever try to take tom stuff dude you know what's crazy tom would have game balls um Stuff that he doesn't want, and he would just put it next to his like on the, the he had a locker and then a space, and then there was big space next to it. He would just take all that stuff and throw it there. And I don't know if he took it, I don't know what he would do with it, it would just pile up there. So I thought, right. I thought about it like <laughs> a game ball right they there. They go need some investments. Put <laughs> that under my shirt, I just walk out, I'm pregnant. Um. What happened though in the locker room when the guy stole the Brady's jersey? I don't. I think he literally just walked up. He was a he, he was a reporter. It and he put it in his bag. Yeah. yeah, he probably saw it and just saw money signs like ching ching <laughs> ching ching. Just boom. and then he probably sniffed it. <laughs> That's money. You ever sniff Tom stuff? No. <laughs> you ever, you ever sniff anyone's stuff? No, I figured you would with Tom. I, yeah, I know you sniff. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I figured you would with Tom. Starts just, with a P, ends with a oh. Y. <laughs> Right. You thought about it. S- smells. He's got great cologne. You know what I used to do? <laughs> I would, I would, you know, be like, "What's Tom? What's Tom got for cologne today?" You go up and like sniff him. No, I'd go in his locker and I'd throw a couple sprays on. <laughs> and I'm like, dude, I smell like I Tom smell Brady. like a winner. I smell like a Hall of Famer. Would like, you really? Let's go. You'd really just go take his stuff. It's a squirt of cologne. It's not a. St- I'm not stealing. I'm. I'm borrowing an how ounce. Much, how much is a bottle of cologne? That he I don't had? know where that probably was probably a from. lot of money. It probably Fountain of Youth. Yeah, it was like oils or something. It, I smelled great for a week. <laughs> you see Aaron Rodgers that he has. He has the new Fountain of Youth, which is like water and cayenne pepper oh, or God. something like that. Yeah, <laughs> that's crazy. And he played like shit. Lost the Patriots. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think uh, you want to do picks. Uh yeah, let's do it. Let's do the picks, man. Pick, pick, pick. You guys enjoying the show? There's a few ways that you can support the Dan and Inko show. First being subscribe to our YouTube channel. Or you can become a super fan. Go to daninko.com. 
First month is 50% off, so it's only five bucks to subscribe. That gives you an exclusive chat with Nico and I on Discord, access to exclusive content, 15% off our brand new merch store, which has some really cool stuff in it. Uh, our members only merch, and you get notified when we have special guests on the show. I mean, I think a lot of guys did that, though. What? Stole Tom stuff or stole? We're not stealing. Your your teammates. I could use someone's cologne. I would use what else? David Andrews from? deodorant. Okay. Did you really? I mean, if I had to, if I was low on deodorant, like a spray on or like a no, the stick. You throw you the can't stick. Do that. That's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> you could use someone's stick deodorant if you're buddies. No, you can't. Yeah, you can. It's stick deodorant. No. David, would you mind if I used a little bit of your Old Spice? It's not a big deal. You check it for, you know, you check it for armpit hairs. Make sure it's clear. <laughs> Just being, that's being nice. It says right here, no, you shouldn't use someone else's deodorant. <laughs> that's what AI says. That's bullshit. That's a stranger. Bacteria and skin cells. Oh, come on. It's Deodorants fine. can transfer bacteria, fungi, skin cells, and hair particles from one person to yeah. another. Sweat. You can also be applying someone else's sweat to your skin. It's fine. Skin it's infections. Just, just a Underarm little... environment. The underarm area it's is deodorant. warm and moist, it's which the, is ideal it, for microbes. Well, it's deodorant. You're taking a shower in an hour of whatever, five or six or ten hours anyway. It's fine. You're fine. You, you've used someone's deodorant before. Do they you've never used, used anyone's it? deodorant? No. Never. No. Why would you? Have you, TJ? You've never <laughs> used anyone else's deodorant. Never. That's bullshit. Does, does he know you used it? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> you should text him and say, like, would, you get, uh, would you have been mad if I used your deodorant? Let me FaceTime him real quick. <laughs> <laughs> That's disgusting. What the hell is wrong with you? You're worried about plastic. Like eating things in a fucking plastic container. It's, it, I'd rather but use someone's it. David. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Yes. I have a question for you. Oh, I can't wait to hear it. If I used... Have you ever used someone else's deodorant? Yes. See? Yeah, no. So I would use your deodorant sometimes. <laughs> And I like if I I think I use it like once, right? And this is a long time ago. But everyone in here, because I'm talking to Dan, and he's like, You can't use someone else's deodorant. It's like, yeah, you can if you're in a pinch and use someone's yeah. deodorant. I mean, I would have made a habit out of it. It's not a habit. It's just like, <laughs> hey, you don't have any, you're walking down, you <laughs> see someone's if you were like on a bachelor party. But you did this in the locker room. I, I was in the locker room, I'm walking past <laughs> David's locker. I see he's got deodorant sitting there and I just throw it on. Yeah, you're not going to use a guy that's like, you're like, oh, like, like Cannon. I would never use Marcus Cannon's deodorant. But, like, yeah, like, what if you're on a golf trip and you forget your deodorant? Like, I'll probably just, like, be like, yo, can I use yours? Yeah, that's easy. Well, that's one thing of asking, though, as opposed well, to. Well, I didn't just ask. I just did it. I, I think you it told him, like, five years later. Yeah, oh, probably I, seven I or eight. He was a rookie, so he probably, like, rubbed it on the nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Pubic hair. <laughs> But anyway, all right, yeah, so you cleared up the question. How's the shoulder feeling? You feeling all right? Yeah, I'm all right. All right, you're a tough, fucking tough bastard. You talking about all the stuff you stole from Tom Brady? No, oh, I was saying that I used to take, like, I'd walk past Tom's locker, and he'd have cologne in there, and I would spray a shot of uh, Tom's cologne on. Oh, yeah, I used Tom's cologne. Yeah, see? <laughs> Everybody wanted to smell like Tom. It's a big... He gave you Tom Ford? Yeah, I was like, Tom, you smell good, knowing what it was, because I used it in his locker, and then gave me some. What a good guy that guy is. He's the best. <laughs> All right, see ya. Enjoy your 1130 beer. All right, it's Thursday. Right, bye. bye. See? It's okay. All right, let's do the picks. <laughs> That's still Everybody, gross. it's fine. We're locker room buddies. That's gross. <laughs> All right, so tonight you're going to have that's a good Thursday night game. Bengals versus the Ravens. Ooh. Game. Bengals looking Ravens. a lot better. I'm going Ravens. Yeah, I'm going Ravens too. Yep. Uh, then you're going to have Giants. Sunday morning, Giants versus the Panthers. Yeah. I'm going Giants. I'm also going Giants. 
Um, you're going to have 49ers at the Buccaneers. 49ers at Buccaneers. I'm going to go Buccaneers. Um, I will go 49ers. In that game. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> uh, Broncos at the Chiefs. 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 I did. Ca- well, that's where I lost it because I, I did call the Buccaneers to win to yeah. beat the Chiefs. So I was pretty close on it. Uh, Bills at the Colts. I'm going to go Bills. Bills. Yep. Steelers at the Commanders. That's another good game. I'm going to go Steelers. I will go Commanders in that game. Okay. Uh, Vikings at the Mac Jones Jaguars. <laughs> you go you go with Mac? Vikings. <laughs> Let's go. I'm also going to go Vikings. Uh, Falcons at the Saints. The with the uh, I'm going with a new Fal- interim Falcons. Coach. Falcons. Mm-hmm. Titans at the Chargers. 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 Jets at the Cardinals. Cardinals. I'm also going Cardinals on that one. Eagles at the Cowboys. Eagles. Eagles. No Dak. They're saying Dak might be out for the season now. Yeah, he's done. Highest uh, paid quarterback. Stupid. Why would you, you pay him? That, though? Why would you pay him? He's not a bad quarterback. He's not great. He's a terrible uh, coach. Uh, Lions at the Texans. Not a good game. I'm going, uh, come on, man. The Lions are on fire, man. I'm going uh, Lions. Uh, Lions. Dolphins at the Rams. Rams. I'm also going to go Rams. I want to go Dolphins. And then you're going to have the Patriots at the Bears. Bears. I'm gonna go Bears. I'm a, I'm gonna go Patriots in that one. I'm gonna go Bears. I'm just hoping Drake may yeah. at Bears at Bears. Drake may didn't turn the ball over. I think they can win that game. Yeah. So what are gonna be your three keys to the game? Three keys to this game are: can they run the ball for fifty yards? That's a key. Try to run the ball fifty yards. I'm not saying a hundred because that's stupid. That would be stupid to say. Try to run the ball a little bit better, which will help your play action pass. Uh, number two, keep the quarterback in the pocket defensively. Don't let a mobile guy get out of the pocket. Puts too much stress on your secondary. And my third would be, um, let's see, number one, run the ball. Number two, don't let the quarterback out of the pocket. Number three, um, I would say you got to win the red zone. So offensively scoring points, defensively not giving up touchdowns. Yeah, give I mean, them three, but we got to score seven, six. Big things you can't turn the ball over. Can't turn the ball over. That's, That's key. Be the biggest thing. Key, key. I mean, key. you need to get a run game, but I'm not sure they can get a run game. They got to get 50 yards. Just get 50 yards. And then as as defense has stopped the run, that's like the you biggest thing. Stop the run too. Those are the, those are like the big, the big things that uh, that you have to do. The big. Um, yeah. Well, we'll see what happens this weekend. I love Shy Town. I wish I could get back there. Captain Insano's here right now. He says hello, Dan. Oh, really? It's here, yeah. Um, I wish I could get back to Chicago. It'd be a great dude. If it, the weather's nice. How long is he up here for? The 11th. Veterans Day, they go back. What? Veterans Day, they go back. Is it just him, though? No, my oh, mom's oh, here. Oh, okay. I didn't yeah, they drove up together in the Dan O'Brien Ram. Yeah? Yep. They, they drove with Betty? Betty, too. How's Betty? Fucking nuts. <laughs> destroying my house, destroying my floors. How old is Betty? Two. Uh, and my mom was like, she's two. She's still a baby. <laughs> I'm like, she's two. She should be not destroying I you shit. Said, I thought you said she was skittish. She's a little. It's probably because my dad, like, <laughs> roughs her up. <laughs> How's Brody with her? He's good. He gets yeah. angry sometimes. He'll be like, don't yeah. mess with me or I'll, be, I'll bite your ass. You start putting him on the weight loss plan yet? Uh, no, he's 100 pounds right now. That's a lot. He's too big. <laughs> He should be 80. He needs to lose 20 pounds. He's got like the, he's got like, when you grab his waist, he's like, like a tube. <laughs> he needs to, hey, we got to shrink him down. Paige has been taking him on walks, but he gets tired and sits down. <laughs> <laughs> he won't, but he won't get back up. Stop. Or yeah, he just stops and sits and looks at you. I'm like, ah, uh, all right. Why take him on a bike ride? He'll die. <laughs> he can't do a bike ride. He can't jog. <laughs> it's because we cut his nuts off. You, he cut my nuts off. I'd be 400 pounds right now. I don't think that's what it is. Uh, yeah, it's testosterone. I'll start giving him some. <laughs> Give him some shots. I'll, I gotta get some. <laughs> will you have some? No, no test. I don't do tests. I don't want my balls to go away. 
He, he can probably find some pretty easy. Probably. Yeah. Well, plenty of people probably call do. Call up it. a few guys. Call Julian. <laughs> <laughs> so what else did you steal from uh, Patriots? The Patriots lockers, players lockers. Um, no, I wouldn't really steal stuff. I would just use it. You know. Um, I'd take photos off the walls. I still have those, which are good. A lot of nice photos, action shots of myself. Because they sell them, so I would just take them. If it's you, you should be able to take it. And then they... No, they own you, though? Th- then they also said, like, please do not take any photos off the wall. I think it's because of me. <laughs> you, what, you took photos off the wall? Oh, yeah. After wins, they would put photos up of us playing. And then after the year's over, they would just have a pile of them. And then they would sell them off. Yeah. So I would go find where they're all at. I'd flip through them all, take all of mine, and take them. I have like them off the wall, though? Oh, they already. They down. would take them off the wall after oh, the year's okay. over okay. and have I thought, a pile. I thought, like you walked in. No, you were no, like... no. I wouldn't take them. <laughs> I would go through the pictures that they had of all of us, and I would look for all mine, and I would just take them. And now I have them at the house. Yeah, I just thought you like would... my son. They're in my son's bedroom. Oh. <laughs> I thought you did. You think the same thing, DJ? He just like walked in, like the frame was on the wall, and he just went. He like put it under his coat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have walked out. That's it. What all else right. would you that that'd be the only that's the only other thing you took? That's it, man. Jerseys, pictures, all of me. And then deodorant. Borrowed deodorant. Borrow deodorant. Yeah. Borrowed cologne. Borrow cologne. Wow. That's exciting stuff. I smell like Tom. <laughs> Tom Ford? Tom Ford. And then I come home, Paige would be like, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Smell like a winner. Mm-hmm. All right, but I think that's a wrap for uh, Nico's got to do a quick pod with the Chicago people. So I got to do Chicago that right people. now. I don't know. They hit me up like, hey, do you want to do this? I said, sure. I'll do it after I'm done with mine. Oh, because you're on like, it's going to be uh, Bears versus Patriots type yeah, thing. Yeah. That should be fun. All right. Uh, so check us out next week uh, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, YouTube, uh, the whole nine yards. We'll see you guys next week. Right, see you guys. Take care.